Hi, welcome to Dave TV for the 17th of June 2012. How y'all doing out there? Uh, beautiful, beautiful Sunday here in the Washington area. Um, really good weather the last couple of days. Uh, you know, feels uh, nice and cool. I feel sorry for those capital weather gangers, gang bangers over there. You know, it's like they just desperately want bad weather so they can get their blog hits up over there at WashingtonPost.com. It's interesting. I, I just, I'm just befuddled all the time when I look around and I look at, um, you know, the, the internet news media biz and, you know, and, and these kind of cheap tricks to get their traffic up at some sites. And I think the one thing that I think was, I, I was looking at the most this week was the Daily Caller. Here we have uh, President Obama making a big address on immigration reform or whatever on Friday. And he was out there on the White House side, you know, in the beautiful weather. The, the reporters all standing around. He's making this address. Now, one of the things when you cover the White House press corps, when you're in the White House press corps, is the fact that you don't interrupt the president while he's making a statement. You don't just scream at him, hey, what do you think? You know, you don't do that. That's that's part of the, the rules. So the Daily Caller, which is this Tucker Carlson righty website here in Washington, which obviously, you know, is probably not hitting its goals in terms of traffic and advertising. They've got a fairly decent sized staff there for the site. You can't imagine they're making any money with that site. You know, they've got a couple of backers that are probably plowing money into this thing. But there's so many, you know, righty news websites a la Drudge and everything else that, you know, they're just in there just slogging it out. So what do you do to get your traffic up? Well, you get your reporter to just shout questions at the president during his statement. Ah, what do you think about it? You know, and of course, the you know, the kooky, nutty, viral internet goes nuts, you know, uh, and, you know, over this. And, you know, they probably get some sort of a little spike there at the Daily Caller and the drudge links to the Daily Caller. And, you know, it, it, one of the things I see a lot of these websites doing, especially these conservative news websites, is they just, there's, they like, tr they troll for drudge links. And one of the reasons, you know, you, there's certain ways of getting a drudge link. And one of them is to really do something hideously awful, say something really hideously awful about President Obama. You know, and so it makes, so, so the righty media comes out on Friday and makes it look like Obama is, you know, uh, making a statement and won't take the reporters' questions. These poor defenseless reporters are asking their questions and that mean old president won't answer them. And of course, you know, you don't throw your questions at the president during a statement like he's making. You know, that's just the rules. And I don't know. You saw the whole big kerfuffle that happened. And probably only the media cared. You know, media sites that cater to the media went all topsy turvy over it. And you know, it just makes it just makes reporters look like idiots. They, you know, makes them look like egomaniacal boobs. You know, I, I think that's all it does. Nothing more. Nothing less. <laughs> Daily Caller probably got a little hit in its traffic. You know, and okay. Maybe we'll be able to pay all our reporters this week. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You just sit there and you go, this sometimes this the the internet media is just nuts. And you know, it's just, you know, we'll do any kind of a silly little trick for traffic. Tricks for traffic. Of course, we don't do that at DCRTV. You know, one of the things I do, one of the reason I started this website 15-ish years ago was because I love the media. I love covering the media. I love um I like reporting about radio and TV. I love listening to radio and TV. I just I've always been a huge fan of turning on that little radio and scanning the dial and seeing all those radio stations and formats and and stuff like that. I've always been fascinated by that. You know, I haven't. One of the things I don't like about living in the Washington area, I guess, is this celebrity journo thing, like you see on Capitol Hill, where you see these guys coming in, guys and gals. And they, you know, they get jobs covering the federal government, covering the White House, covering Capitol Hill. And they're just blown. Their egos are just massively inflated. And they feel like they're somehow great. If the Washington Post hires you, you must somehow be great. It wasn't just the fact that you went to an Ivy League school. It's that you're really, truly better than everybody else. And it suddenly come, you know, suddenly come to the conclusion that they really aren't. 
Like you see these like whole army of websites like Media and Fishbowl and whatever that just cover journos covering celebrities, politicians, and it just the food chain there just gets to be gross. And I don't like covering that. You know, I try and minimize it. You know, I don't I don't do that. I don't sit there and troll Twitter feeds of celebrity journos and just, you know, post things ten seconds after they post them as big news items. I don't do that. And I'm not going to do that because that's not what I like to do, you know. But it's, I guess it's one of the downsides of being in the Washington media market is you get that kind of disgusting Capitol Hill overinflated ego crap over there. I try to, you know, I mean, I report, you know, if, you know, Politico, um, you know, the top Politico guy gets arrested, I'll report about that. But I, I, it's like, I don't care. You know, I really like to cover the hometown journalism you know, local TV newsers, the local radio stations, you know, the, the you know, 98% of Washingtonians don't pay any attention to that Capitol Hill media crap. They really don't. And I try to at least tailor my coverage to what people that live and work in the Washington area really listen to and watch on TV. And I tailor it for that and not just this, you know, catering to this, you know, egomaniacal journalistic crowd. So there. <laughs> All right. Dad, I don't know. I just had it ran. I just had to get it off my chest. Did it make any sense? It probably didn't. You're just going to look back and go, but Dave, he's crazy. He's crazy. Uh, okay. So uh, periodically, I like to go through the DCR TV massive archives. We've got a couple of that cool incoming items. Okay. Let's swing this Camarellia around here and let's see if we can get it focused on. Uh, Da, da, da. There we go. That's not too bad. Let's rearrange the windows here on the system. And let's look at a few of the new items that came in on the um, the massive DCRTV uh, archives here. And take a look at what we've got here. This is a, a Channel 7 ad from 1963 for when it was WMAL. I've got this up on DCRTV Plus right now, and I'll get some more of these up on Plus later. But I just wanted to just give you a quick impetus impetus of what's coming up. Look at that. This is uh, Channel 7, seven days a week. This is what Channel 7 was running at um, in the mornings uh, in September 1963. The Funny Company, Girl Talk, Ed Allen Exercise, Women's World, The Price is Right. I don't know who that host is. A Divorce Court. So there, okay. And some other incomings. What do we get here? Okay, we got a uh, New Scene 2, WMAR Baltimore. Look at that. There we go. Jack, Jack, Jack Doll. What was his name? Damn. Got these guys' names. I do know them in my brain, but they're not coming to the forefront of my memory. The 1966 Orioles, brought to you by WJZ and Camel and Winston, Frank Messer, uh, Chuck Thompson, John Kennelly. There we go. Okay. That'll be up on DCRTV Plus one of these days, not too long from now. There we've got Nick Charles there and his beautiful dark locks of hair over there when he was working at uh, WJZ. And we've got more of a... Uh, is that Nick Charles? Yeah, it's Nick Charles, 1972. Very handsome man there. Recently passed away. Sorry to hear that. Pick Temple. Pick Temple, um, da -da -da, WTOP TV, Channel 9, 1955. The Heidi Coloring Book for Giant Safety Rangers. Pick Temple there did a kitty show with uh, you know dogs and cowboys and gu guitars and wells and hats. So there's a memory of that. We will get that up on the. Okay, this is the uh, this is another more incoming items this week at the DCR TV massive photo archives. There's Steve Swenson, the back of Steve Swenson. He's bringing sexy back. And this is at the uh, WNEW uh, advertisers reception there, at one of the big fancy hotels there downtown. And I believe that's Lisa Baden. One of these people is Lisa Baden. That could be Lisa Baden right there. Uh, but uh, whatever. Very, you know, uh, where am I? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Not that I'd go. <laughs> but everyone's, you know, everyone's dressed up really nice here. You know, they've all got their suits on. What's this guy doing? Just got a kind of a ball cap and a scringy beard. I don't know. Maybe he, who's that? Maybe is he one of the junkie? No. Who knows who that is? Mystery man. Okay, we got the WMAL Breakfast Club with Arthur Godfrey here. Uh, 1933. 
Very interesting. Uh, got a got a looks like a diploma or something. I guess they, if you joined the Breakfast Club, they gave you this little thing. Uh, there's a WMAL television picture. I don't know who any of those folks are, but there's the WMAL Channel 7 TV van, the Evening Star Broadcasting Company. And, uh, okay, there's some other things. Oh, let's see. What have we got? Some other things. This is from Channel 9, w, the old WDVM. Got one of their uh, shows there. Uh, yeah, it's some interesting stuff. And some more WDVM. This Okay, uh, Chicago, WBBM. Uh, some more Channel 9. There's LBD. Look at that. Al B. D. They just celebrated his 25th anniversary in Washington, Baltimore media, radio. Been at PGC. Been at, uh, oh gosh, I can't think of all the stations. W-A-R-W. He's been over at Mix in Baltimore. He's he's currently doing the more afternoon show there at the Bay, WZBA in Baltimore. And uh, fills in weekends on PGC. 25 years and the ladies, they love him. <sighs> Channel 9 there with uh, Graves Ghostly from 1970, their monster movie host. And uh, look what's happening on the new Channel 7, Ben Gazzara and Chuck Connors' Arrest and Trial. <laughs> that's also from 1963. All right, folks, that's what we'll do. Those are the in that's some of the, in the, the recent incoming stuff there at Dave TV's uh, DCRTV Plus Archive. You know, we're doing our fundraiser for DCRTV uh, this. We do a fundraiser. We have a September fundraiser. We have a summer fundraiser going on right now. Okay? We need about $9,000 more. So if you got $9,000 in your checking account, send it to us. And then we'll be done the fundraiser. And we'll be done right away. Just send us the $9,000 or send us $900 or send us $9 or send us whatever. Whatever you can afford. Remember, we're uh, advertisers are great, but it's you that has kept this website going. You know, nobody else as... Um, you know, is, is preserving the Washington media culture, the Baltimore media culture like DCRTV has. You know, we're kind of like a museum. We are. You know, there's really nobody else preserving all these wonderful memories, these audio, the videos, the, the photographs, the, you know, all those folks who's worked at all the local stations. And, you know, in a couple of years, this is all going to be forgotten. If it isn't for sites like mine, like DCRTV. So, you know, helping us out is not just propping up me and so I can put food in my belly. It's it's for it's really it's helping preserve a culture that's been part of a lot of people's lives for many years in the local markets. So uh, do send something along. Just click on that support linky dinky at the top of DCRTV's front page, and you know send us twenty nine bucks and you get a year of access to Plus with a whole slew of cool graphics and shit like what you just saw there. There. All right, folks, thanks for watching Dave TV for Sunday, the uh, 17th of June, June 2012. So.